I, I guess you guys are uh, just wondering a little bit about the walk uh, and then uh, why we decided to walk and how we're doing all of this and other things like right? So the walk is uh, basically a big walk, a really long walk from Miami to DC. It's uh, 1,500 miles. I think we've gone already about 400 miles since we started. And uh, we've been going through uh, highways that are not major highways. Those that you can actually walk on, like US 1, 441, you know, Highway 50. So we started in US 1 and then we cut through uh, 50 and now we're going up on 441 again. And that's how we got to Gainesville. So, <laughs> so uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Felipe, like I said, and I was originally born in Brazil. And uh, I came here when I was about 14 years old, and the reason why was because my mother got very sick, and she was a single mom, uh, and the only family I had was here. So didn't really have much of an option, just put my stuff in a, in a suitcase and came over here. And uh, when I got here, uh, the first thing that my family told me was well, to work hard. The typical American, you know, American dream story. All of us really know that well. Work hard and you get somewhere, right? Uh, and I really took that to heart. So I worked really hard. I'm sure all of you have. Uh, and uh, But when I graduated from high school, that was like that brick wall everywhere. I was undocumented and I couldn't go anywhere. As a matter of fact, I was accepted to many colleges and all of them who returned my request for acceptance with a letter saying, oh, you're missing a nine-digit number. And that nine-digit number pretty much became uh, a question of whether I was going to be considered a whole human being or someone who was going to be pushed into the shadows. And that's basically what happened to me. And uh, I ended up going to Miami Dade College. Uh, you know, I don't know if all of you know, it's a community college down in Miami. They accepted me to their honors program, and I did well again, you know. Just because once you understand what it means to not have, to not have an opportunity, you really, when you have one, you really grab onto it, right? So I did well again, and I was SG president, and all, all of that great stuff. Ended up getting two awards. One was a best student in Florida for all the community colleges here, and then I was top 20 in the country. And uh, I thought, hey, I can finish my bachelor's for sure now, right? Because you think, you know, I've been recognized. But that wasn't the case again. When I graduated once more, applied again, the same barrier came, came about, and here I am walking to D.C. Because the truth is that the president, the president is unbearable for any undocumented person in the U.S. right now. You can't get a job. All your jobs have to be under the table if you can get one. You, uh, and nobody ever respects you. I mean, we hear of women, uh, women who got, who got raped by their bosses. We hear of men who never get their wages, even though they work. Um, to name a few of the problems with, you know, workers' rights. Uh, we don't have access to education. So we've been pushed into poverty. And, you know, it's a, it's a cycle of poverty. The only way you can get out of it is if you get a degree, and you can't get a degree so you can get a good job, you know? So it's like that, always. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, our families are being split apart. Uh, I don't know, I mean, like all of you, I imagine have uh, someone who you love a lot. And imagine, you know, if one day you come home and your mother's not there because someone came in the middle of the night, to, and got and got her, and then there you are alone, on, alone on, on your own. This is what's going on. You know, we've heard of stories of uh, women who were being split from their babies when they were breastfeeding in the middle of the night.